this is Matt from Progressive Educator and I'm going to show you a quick way to make an easy sound recording in GarageBand 3. If you have a different version of GarageBand, you're going to do basically the same thing, although it might look a little bit different. When you open GarageBand 3, this is the window that pops up and you want to just create a new music project. Next, you want to name your project and I'm just going to name this demo and hit create. And just resize this so we can see it. Okay, this is the window that pops up when you open GarageBand. You want to close the grand piano. You want to go to the control menu and deselect the metronome. Next, you want to go to the lower left hand corner and create a new track by pressing on this plus symbol. And it asks us do we want to create a software instrument track or a real instrument track? Because we're recording audio, we want to use a real instrument. Next, over here, we want to select real instrument, vocals, and no effects. To start our recording, we'll press the red record button at the bottom. This is a recording. Test 1, test 2, test 3. Test, test, test. And we'll stop our recording. To go back to the beginning, we'll press this and let's listen. This is a recording. Test 1, test 2, test 3. Test, test, test. Okay, it looks like it works. Let's go to File, Save. Do we want to save your project with an iLife preview? This will make it easier to use in other iLife applications, so we'll hit yes. Next, we will go to share, and we'll send this song to iTunes. So this will create a mix down and open up iTunes. This is recording. Test one, test two, test three, test, 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 and automatically import our song. And that's it. It's that easy.